Hi, you're watching India Post Live, India's first web TV news conversation online. I'm Shivraj and today we're discussing new social entrepreneurship. That is right, we have new social entrepreneurs in our studio with Kavi Poetry and Art, where you're using poetry and art to really bring to life upcycled products and sort of creating memorabilia and household gifting products as well. So let me just introduce you, um, Madhuri Balodi and um, uh, Swamya Mukherjee, the two of you sort of come together and created the venture. Tell us a little bit more, Swamya, about the venture. What's the idea behind it? Um, so we were friends, of course. We knew each other very well. We always wanted to do something of our own. And um, uh, we had a love for poetry. We also wanted to be entrepreneurs. So we got together, and this is basically a very friends and family collective. That's how we began. The idea behind Kavi, the poetry art project, is to bring alive poetry in tangibles, everyday see-touch forms. Because uh, we thought that poetry needed to get out of just, say, blogs, out of recitals, out of books, out of readings. And you know, if people uh, saw them as visual art pieces, which were affordable, which were things that you could put in your living room, I think uh, that'd be awesome. And that's how the idea came about. And so Madhuri, I noticed that you have quite an array, you know, like Swami is saying, you're trying to visualize the poetry, you're trying to bring color and life to it and take it to other households. But um, what about the back end? Um, how easy or how, how much of an ecosystem of artisans and designers do you have? Um, we have a very limited team, like we have a core members, like three core members in Kavi teams. And we have then we have freelance designers, freelance, we have interns, college and, interns. And we have a whole group of artisans which yeah. is seen by our honorary chairperson who is uh, Kalpana Mukherjee. So we have a whole team of very grassroots level artists whom we are training and uh, who are being mentored in a way. Yeah. Because everything that we do is, um, is, is very grassroots level. So if you can see like these bottles, these are old bottles, they're wine bottles of which we do um, hand arted lamps. So everything that you see on this, for instance, it's handmade acrylic art. Mm -hmm. So we have a team of artists who can be trained to do this. So we have a lot of people helping us and the core team is uh, three strong. So we have three people. on. So both of you are ex-journalists, right? So what made you make this career switch to social entrepreneurship? Okay, uh, so I'll speak for them because, um, uh, you know, journalism, of course, is, is a very uh, rewarding and at the same time a very exhausting profession. So although it teaches you a lot and uh, there's a lot that you can give back, there's a point of time that uh, comes and then you want to do your own thing and that's how it began for both uh, Madhuri and Amit, our co-founder who's not here right now, but then, uh, um, uh, you know, and um, uh, journalism helped us a lot because uh, you know, we did come to know about grassroots level art, poetry, about people, about social entrepreneurship that needs to be, uh, um, you know, promoted in a way. So we got all of it together, all of our learnings from our previous uh, profession together, and we sort of tried to put it into our work. And Madhuri, what about uh, business acumen? You know, because as journalists, we're great at talking about stuff. Somya is very articulate. You obviously are also very keen on taking this to the next level but in terms of business backing are you from a business family did you have any capabilities or or experience with business or running a business before no no we are the like first from the family who is doing this business and yes initially it was a little difficult for us because we are from media background and this is a different altogether a different venture but now it's going good then yeah, we I are hope hoping it gets good, better. Yeah. No, it's interesting Cross because your lamps, like you said, use upcycled products. But why upcycled products? Is there a rationale to it? Yes, there yeah. is. You know, because when we when we started with our um, own uh, project with Kavi, the poetry art project, we we thought that uh, you know creativity and sustainability are uh, two sides of the same yes, coin, and we have to balance that both. So wh where there's creativity, there's um, you know there's also creativity is hugely interlinked in many ways with nature, with sustainability, with sustainable living of course. So then we started upcycling these wine bottles and we thought we could put both together. So we have lamps which are made from uh, uh, recycled wine bottles. They're all handcrafted. Yeah. They're all eco-friendly. If you see, we have uh, a key hanger okay. which, is, uh, which is made of a beer bottle. Mm -hmm. So this is again uh, all recycled. These are wine corks and these are hooks in there. So and everything yeah. that we do is um, handmade, it's hand-arted and it is uh, eco-friendly in that sense because we thought 
creativity is very li interlinked with yeah. everything that's nature. So if it's not natural enough, if it's not sustainable enough, then it can never be creative. Yeah. And so is that one of maybe your, your selling points as well? Yeah. Do you see a lot of traction? Because suddenly in today's day and age, we've seen a lot of social consciousness uh, around, uh, you know, environment friendly, around, uh, you know, sort of maintaining a certain sustainability uh, factor as well. Yeah. yeah. Because uh, these days everybody is conscious about nature, eco-friendly products and everybody is like crazy about it. So <laughs> yeah. I think this is the major point of our... And where do you mostly sense. sell your products? So we are, we are present both online and offline. Yeah. So in uh, Delhi of course we've tied up with some uh, literary gift stores such as like Full, Full Circle, Circle various Capital. tourists, Khan Market, Horse Cars, Cars Village, yeah, Shah Pujar, CP and in Gurgaon and CR. And even outside, we, I mean, we also sell offline, so we sell throughout the world in that sense, and we've tied up with websites such yeah, as... Uh, Snapdeal, Pepper Fry, Ferns and Petals. So we're, we're retailing with all major e-gift websites, yeah. yes. Bar okay, you so, you know, I'm going to uh, come back to you on response from, from uh, okay. customers, but we do actually have a customer joining us via Google Hangout. Aditi, thank you so much for joining in on the conversation. You're a regular customer of Kavi. What are your reactions to the kind of products that come to your doorstep? Okay, so the first time I saw uh, Kavi's products was at an exhibition, you know, and, and I totally loved them. You know, you, you were talking about how everybody's becoming very conscious about the nature and, you know, this whole sustainable thing, what we're doing to the environment. So, you know, you want to make your contribution in some way or the other. So, I, uh, when I saw these upcycle lamps, I was like, what a great way to just uh, start from your home itself. You know, this is just a small thing that you can do at your own end. And the second thing that I liked about it was, you know, you could customize it. You know, there's, there's, there's a personalized element to it when you're gifting it to your friends or your families and, you know, poetry just touches your heart. You know, and it's, it's a beautiful way to get it into your lives and, you know, you just, these lamps light up not only your house, your room, but your entire lives with their poems and their words. So uh, I've had a great experience uh, buying products from Kavi and you know all my friends who Thanks. I've gifted it to, uh, they've just loved it you know because it's very personalized, it's very unique and they think that there's a, of course there's this whole uh, uh, nature eco-friendly element to it. So it's a great way of uh, gifting. All right, thank, thank you, Aditi. That. I think that, that's you. a big compliment when yes. your own customers come online on a show like this and say that thank they you. like thank it you, because it's, it sort of goes viral. But the other thing is how important has social media been for you because clearly it's about touch point marketing. Right. Yeah. The social media has been our biggest strength. You know, we started with Facebook. The first thing that Kavi did was um, to come up with a Facebook page and uh, we were still sort of finding our own footing then. So we were trying to see what we could do. We were trying to explore various avenues. And it's been our uh, single most biggest strength, not just in terms of getting us customers, but also it's word of mouth uh, publicity for us. And we are on Twitter, we are on Facebook. Now we also have our website because it's been about one and a half years. Um, about two years, September 2012 yeah. was when we came about. So, um, uh, you know, people see our stuff, so they know what we're talking about, you know. So it's, it's more than just talking about yourself, so they can actually see what we've done. And if you see our lamps and if you see our works, you know, it's, it's, it's the seeing them that does it, you know, no matter what we say about how poetry yeah. comes alive, till the time you don't really see what it is, you can't take a decision on if you'd want to buy it. So um, that way Facebook, Twitter, um, social media has worked enormously for us. Also we now have a Facebook store. So it's a, it's a gateway wherein you can actually come, you can log on and it's a one click buy yeah, through Facebook itself. It. Yeah. So that makes life a lot easier for our customers because you know, everyone's on Facebook all the time. And so. Madhuri, clearly also the messaging is also important because you know, when I was traveling say abroad, I noticed a lot of young entrepreneurs using occasions like Father's Day, other occasions to really connect with gifting, yeah. the whole idea. Is that something that you're doing as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Recently we did for the Father's Day, we are selling it ferns and petals and we have made uh, a customized lamp for Father's Day. So we have a special poem yeah. also that's going out yeah. because we have a lot of poets writing into us um, with little notes that they'd like to see come alive on our things. So we have little poetry ready for everyone. Yeah. So if someone has their own little note that they want to dedicate to their father by way of, say, a little gifting article, then that's great. But if they don't, we help them out with the poetry as well. Yeah, so that was my next question, actually. What are your filters to make sure that what comes from a customization point of view, you make it slightly more beautiful in terms of lyric and writing? <laughs> 
Uh, okay, so you know now that's very subjective because it's very difficult to uh, judge poetry. Yeah, to judge poetry. So right. we try not doing it. In fact, we don't judge poetry mm -hmm. at all. What we do is, um, you know, when you when you read a piece, uh, of, uh, whether it's a little verse or whether it's a little note or even if it's a little haiku or two line thing, um, uh, you know, it it either strikes a chord with you or it doesn't. So of course, if someone wants to get something customized, we we are, we ask no questions. You know, it's something that they want for their special one. Yes. So then it's personal. I like and it doesn't matter for poetry. It doesn't matter. Sure. In fact, people write, write to us in Urdu, Hindi, Punjabi, yes. Hindi. So we've had we people writing in Urdu. We've had people writing in Hindi. I remember this one uh, lamb that we did. So basically, it was a poetry lamb, something of this sort, and someone wanted Sapne written on it. Yeah. So there was Sapne in three languages: in Hindi, Hindi in Urdu, Urdu and, and English. English. So uh, there's no, it's it's not a matter of yeah. language, no words, filters, no, 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 no filters, no it's just emotions. It's just emotions. Yeah. Actually, so yeah. we, we're actually joined online by Manushri, uh, who's also another customer. Uh, so Manushri, how much of a chord has, has Kavi struck with you? Because like like the founders here in studio were discussing, uh, there was, there, there is a possibility, there's an endless possibility of how much you can do with it. Yeah, actually, the innovation they are doing with poetry is just too amazing. And plus, the gifting thing is like back to the personal touch. I actually love their lamps. What they do with them is amazing. So was it poetry that you sent across that they customized for you? Mm, I had written a poetry for my friend on her birthday. So that was customized on a lamp and I gifted her. And she, she just loved that. What was her immediate reaction when she read it? She was just too uh, basically mesmerized with the idea because that that this the lamp concept is actually a new one, and especially get, uh, a poetry on the lamp is just too good. And it's a keepsake, so she was, right? She can she keep was, it in yeah. her room and really yeah, showcase it. Yeah, she can keep it. it in her room, and she's actually using that. It's not that it's just a showpiece or something. She can actually use that. So it was a brilliant gift for her, and she was very surprised actually. Thank you so much, Manushri. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so you know, just um, of course, what you're creating is not only pretty, but it's utilitarian, utilitarian that, as yeah, well. That was, the idea. Um, was that really for you the clincher when you thought about the venture, yes, the yes. concept? You know, because uh, when we came up with it, we didn't really want something fancy hanging around your uh, drawing room. You know, pretty little piece of art just hanging about there. So we wanted uh, poetry, and we wanted um, uh, you know things that are upcycled, recycled to which come about unique. together, yeah. which are unique, which are very useful in ways. So whether it's a lamp, this is a night lamp, for instance, and this one's an evening lamp. A key hanger, is something that we all use nowadays. We have bags, so bags are again very utilitarian. Mm -hmm. And we have planters. Yes. We have wall art frames with them. Um, of course, they have little poetry. They could be your own poetry. So then it's not just putting out something that you bought from the market and putting it up there. And then we have planters now. So we're doing uh, so uh, really you know, on World Environment yeah. Day. Yes, yes. So we're trying to diversify as much as we can. And everything that we do is very useful and very affordable at the same time. Yeah. So Aditi is still online. Aditi, uh, you were talking about lamps. But uh, are there any other products that you've actually bought from Kavi that have stood out? Yeah, so the key hanger that Samya is talking about, you know, I just totally loved it. Uh, you know, it's very, it's, it's very useful. It looks and it looks very pretty on your wall because again, you know, there's this art on it, uh, acrylic art that they have done. So that's uh, another item that I bought. I still have to buy one of their planters. They just released it um, last week or so on Facebook. <laughs> so, so there, you got another buyer. <laughs> Great, thanks. <laughs> Thank you, Aditi. As always. Yeah. So the other question is uh, for for social entrepreneurs, or entrepreneurs, you know, like yourselves watching the show, yeah. funding. Funding is always a big challenge. How did you build your financial capability? Yeah, so, um, yeah, I just want to speak about it because many people have the idea, but they didn't start. They don't start because of the less money. But I think money doesn't matter when you have a great idea because we have started like for 7000 rupees just for 7 7000 rupees and now we are doing like 200 yeah. percent profit it's actually two thousand percent. It's yeah. much more than that. It's yeah. two thousand percent now. Because you know, when we started, as as we said, we were first generation uh, entrepreneurs, mm -hmm. so uh, we didn't have any funding. It's a self-funded project. Now, of course, we're looking out at uh, crowd funders, at crowdfunding schemes, a lot of other things. Probably the so government, more, yeah. probably yes, a bit more. But right now, of course, it's self-sustaining, and uh, we're making huge profits, which is great, of course. But then uh, we plan to take it to the next level, of course. But then yes, funding was uh, initially an 
an issue. Right now, we're at a comfortable position, but then it was self-funded. And yes, it was a challenge, but uh, it's coming along smooth. So what about your ecosystem? Funds. Have you reached out to other entrepreneurs like yourselves? Have you reached out to government? Have you tried to connect with uh, associations that can perhaps uh, give you the capability of scaling as well? Right. Uh, so not to the government as yet, but yes, we are yes, thinking about it. With these stores who yes. are doing we, the we, same work, like for the eco-friendly products. So. So we have um, uh, we have a few business associates that we work very closely with mm -hmm. because in the end it's just like a good synergy that sort of uh, yeah. uh, you know can help us grow and can help them grow as well. So we have a lot of associates. We work with very uh, close partners as well in that sense. But then we don't really have any government or any funding support. But we are looking at it. So what about future plans? Where do you want to take this? All right. So right now we're with many online stores. We're with many offline stores. Yeah. But yes, very soon we hope to have our own exclusive store as well yeah. and uh, we are hoping to take this to other cities and uh, uh, you know major maybe expand city, yeah. yeah major cities and ex expand ourselves in terms of offline presence in other cities in other parts of the world as well eventually sure. so yes and and diversify in terms of our product range because right now our lamps are best sellers our planters are gaining popularity fast we have uh, bags of course the bags are a hit with college kids so you should yeah. see them probably we'll, we'll show it to you in a bit um, so these are little bags that have poetry that says Jhole me liye khushiyo ka pitara Kuch kitabe aur sapno ka bahi khata So and you know this is written in English in a way So um, it, it's a very simple dream um, that you know every college kid has yes. So that sort of a thing So we're trying to diversify We have um, mugs as well coffee We have mugs. evening mugs Yeah evening coffee mugs and stuff So we're diversifying And we are soon coming with the new products so, yes. so when you're rolling out all these new products, I, I, I guess you'd also be thinking about overheads, you'd be thinking about the challenges you mm -hmm. face, yes. working with new and new and new partners, because there's an issue of quality yes, control yes. as well. How do you address that? So the biggest problem that we're facing right now, actually the two big problems. Yes. One is, of course, uh, to sell poetry. Now, poetry is not something that people believe can be sold. Yes. People also have their ideological issues about, uh, you know, how can you put poetry on things and, and put a ownership. price to it. <laughs> exactly. And, and, and of course, the creative ownership. But then we have a proper memorandum of an understanding with the poets who write in for us. Mm -hmm. So we have a credit policy. So if you're using someone's poetry, whether it's with their pen name or with their real yes. names, we have an understanding. We have a token that we exchange with them. So, um, you know, in that sense, we have our rights cleared out. But, you know, putting a price to poetry is what a lot of people are not all right with. So that's a big challenge for us to sort of um, you know make poetry available in tangible forms and to make people believe that you can actually put it out and and put it in a product mm -hmm. so that's when and the second thing is unskilled labor sure. now what we do is um, is very specific in terms of you know for example the art that you see on this now uh, even to train artisans and to train artists is a big challenge because not everyone knows not everyone can do what we do on say an upcycle bottle or for that matter your bags are easy to make or your uh, mugs are not not really, uh, you know, big trouble, but then but all handmade products need exactly. So, and how so do you resources, ensure quality control, because you know one thing that is said of beautiful handicraft is not all of it can look the same, but yet you still want some sort of finesse. Yes. How do you make sure that that finesse exists? Uh, we have uh, skilled labors who do the similar work with uh, we. Uh, so we them. constantly yeah. train them. Training is a very important part, and uh, yes. we have we have a very senior artist. We keep checking products Kalpana, like this. Yeah. They are say, uh, saying same or something like that. Yeah. So basically, so to keep a check, we have the team, and we have uh, the head of the team who comes and who keeps a check and who keeps training them. Mm -hmm and who picks up products and says, you know, this is not right for this reason, or, you know, this particular piece is beautiful, but even in terms of the art, also because art is very subjective, even in terms of scrutiny. So then you need to be very particular in telling them why this is not right and why the design should be this and not that. Yes. So maybe the technical bits are easier to point out, you know, this is not plugged yeah. in right, or the screw is loose here. But then, uh, you know, when it, when it comes to art or putting poetry out there, similarly with poetry as well, when poets write into us, it's a very difficult process for us to actually sit and filter the poetry. There are no filters, as we yeah, said, yeah. but then to choose and pick poetry. So mm -hmm. we, we do bookmarks as well that we give out at various uh, literary events, such as the Delhi Poetry Festival, and uh, there was a Rung Festival at NSD and things like that. So, uh, but when you pick poetry, it's, it's a huge process for us to even uh, you know in terms of quality pick the right kind of words pick the right kind of art but then uh, we have people who watch it we have senior artists we have poets who sort of see it and and, figure and it who out. does the product design because clearly product design is so crucial because like you just talked about you're yeah. diversifying your array of That's products right. from 
from bottles, uh, the lamps to key hangers to planters to bags. That's right. Who really takes care of that product? So I'd, I'd like to uh, then um, uh, you know name both Madhuri again here. So Madhuri and Amit, Amit who's not here with us right now, but uh, they are the two product design brains yes. behind everything that, and then that you see. We have various interns. Yeah, and, and yeah. then we have a team, of course, the interns, because they come with a lot of fresh ideas. So very surprisingly, more than people that we have on board in our core team doing these things, our interns have very fresh ideas. I think because then they come uh, unseasoned and then they come, you know, sort of untouched by and finally, any tiredness. For, for young entrepreneurs watching the show, what is your advice? Now, you're two years old. You've clearly seen a 2,000% jump in your, in, in your income. You've seen, uh, you know, plans to now go to other cities. For young entrepreneurs with a good idea in their kitty, what should they do next? What are the key steps that you should take? Learnings from your pitfalls and your successes. All right, Mali, do you want to start? There? Yeah, I think they just start the project. Just Don't do think. it. Yes, yeah. just do it. Just do it, and then it takes everything, on. Yeah. Everything will fall into place. the The biggest thing is to make the beginning, to make the start. So yes, it'll seem like a huge risk. Keeps happening on its own. Yeah. So you know, slowly the ball gets rolling. So the biggest thing, as Madhuri said, is to get it going because, you know, actually when we were starting with the project, uh, the biggest uh, obstacle was in our minds. Mindset. It was a huge yeah. risk to give up our jobs. Because for it's very difficult to yeah, quit so a job. Both, both uh, Madhuri yeah. and Amit have, you know, given up their full-time careers, but now I think it's all been worth it yeah. in the end. We're extremely it's just the beginning, do, of course, yeah. but uh, yeah. So A, just do it. Uh, the ball will start rolling and, and it'll start doing wonderfully yeah. itself. Uh, secondly, it is a bit risk, but then um, uh, you, you know, have take to take the choice. Yes, exactly. You have and, to make the choice and like have what faith you want in your idea and have faith in the people that you work with. So, Aditi, just going to let you jump in one last time. You've been hearing <laughs> about the entrepreneurs behind Kavi, behind those beautiful products that sit in yours and your friends' homes. Uh, what has your reaction been to really hearing the story behind the product? Well, I think it's uh, very, very interesting and inspiring, you know, because uh, both of them look so young and, you know, they've just started two years back and to come this long way is is, is nothing short of an achievement. So I think uh, they're doing a great job and uh, I hope that many more uh, follow them in their footsteps and, and like they said, you know, just do it. So I think uh, many more will be inspired by what they're doing. Thank you, Aditi, for joining us in that conversation. And thank you so much, Soumya and Aditi, for, for coming here and sort of giving us such an interesting perspective on what one can do with upcycle products, create you know, really interesting and aesthetically beautiful products for, for anyone to keep at home. That's really entrepreneurship at play. Thank you so much. Thank you and for continue the uh, joining in on the conversation. Join us on hashtag India Post Live on Twitter. Keep watching and keep chatting with us. Thank you.